Hi everyone and welcome back to English Experts Podcast, the podcast where we dive into all things English. I'm Emily, and I'm here with my co-host, John. <laughs> Hello everyone, John is here and it's great to be here. Today, we've got a really useful episode lined up for you. Okay, right. We're going to be talking about something that's super important for anyone learning English, everyday conversations. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Everyday conversations are those simple yet crucial exchanges that happen all the time. Yup, that's so exactly what I meant. So whether you're chatting with a friend, and then ordering food, or asking for directions, these interactions are everywhere and the best part? Mastering them can really boost your confidence. Absolutely, so let's jump right in. Emily, why don't we start with one of the most basic types of everyday conversations, greetings and introductions. Sounds good, John. Greetings are often the first thing you say to someone, so they set the tone for the entire conversation. Depending on who you're talking to, your greeting might be formal or casual. For example, if you're meeting Whoa, someone for the first amazing. time or in a professional setting, you might say something like, good morning or it's a pleasure to meet you. That's right, but if you're with friends or in a more relaxed setting, you can go with something like, hey, how's it going, or hi there. It's interesting how the formality of the situation influences the language we use. Exactly. Let's do a quick role play, John. I'll be someone you're meeting for the first time at a work event, and you can introduce yourself. Sure. Good evening. I'm John, one of the marketing managers here. It's a pleasure to meet you. Good evening, John, I'm Emily. It's great to meet you too. See? That was a bit formal, which is perfect for a professional setting. But if we were meeting at a friend's party, it might go more like this. Hey, I'm Emily. Nice to meet you. Hi, Emily. I'm John. Nice to meet you too. Notice how the language is simpler and the tone more relaxed? That's the difference context can make in greetings and introductions. Now let's move on to another common scenario, asking for and giving directions. This is something everyone needs to do at some point, especially if you're in an unfamiliar place. Absolutely. When you're asking for directions, it's always good to be polite. You might say, excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the nearest train station? Adding excuse me and could you make your request sound polite. Right, right. And when giving directions, it's important to be clear and specific. Oh, you might I say, see what you mean. Go straight ahead for about two blocks, then turn left at the traffic light. The train station will be on your right. Let's do another role play. This time, I'll ask you for directions. Ready? Ready! Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the post office? Sure. Just go straight for two blocks, then take a right at the corner. The post office will be on your left. Perfect, and what if I needed to make sure I was going the right way? I might ask, so, I go straight and then turn right at the corner? Exactly, and I confirm by saying yes, that's right. Clarifying like this is a good way to make sure you've understood the directions correctly. Let's switch gears now and talk about something that might seem small but is actually really important, small talk. Ah, small talk. It's that light, informal conversation people have in social settings or when they're just trying to be polite. That's a good one. It's often about safe, neutral topics like the weather, work, or current events. Right, right, even though small talk doesn't usually involve deep conversations, it's a key part of socializing in English-speaking cultures. It helps build rapport and makes people feel comfortable. Exactly, for example, if you're at a party and don't know many people, you might start with, so, How do you know the host? Or if you're at work, something like, how's your day going, works well. Let's do another quick role play. We're at a company picnic, and I'm trying to start a conversation with you. Sounds fun and go ahead. So, what do you think of the weather today? It's perfect for a picnic, isn't it? It really is. I was worried it might rain, but it turned out to be a beautiful day. And from there, we could easily transition to talking about other topics, like work or hobbies. Small talk like this is a great way to ease into a conversation. Definitely and remember, the key to good small talk is to keep it light and positive. You don't have to dive into heavy topics, just keep things friendly and upbeat. 
Another everyday scenario where English comes in handy is shopping and making transactions. Whether you're in a store, a restaurant, or a market, you'll need to know how to ask for help, inquire about prices, and make purchases. That's right when you're shopping, you might need to ask questions like, excuse me, do you have this in Aww, a different size? Now I get it. Or how much does this cost? Being polite is important, especially when asking for help. And when it's time to pay, you'll need phrases like, I'll take this one, or can I pay by card? Let's roleplay a shopping scenario. I'll be the customer, and you can be the shop assistant. Sure thing, sure. Excuse me, do you have this shirt in a medium size? Let me check for you. Yes, we do. Here you go. Great, thank you. How much is it? It's $25. Perfect, I'll take it. Can I pay by card? Of course. Please swipe your card here. Simple but effective. Knowing these phrases makes the shopping experience Whoa, much smoother. that's amazing. So there you have it, some of the most common everyday conversations in English, broken down into practical scenarios. Whether you're greeting someone, asking for directions, making small talk, shopping, dining out, or navigating the workplace, these phrases and tips should help you feel more confident. Definitely and remember, the key to mastering these conversations is practice. The more you use these phrases in real life, the more natural they'll become. We hope you found today's episode helpful. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for tuning into English Experts Podcast. Until next time, keep practicing, and don't be afraid to start those everyday conversations. Bye for now. Bye bye for now, guys.